terms of students at a, a grade, uh, grade six students at a primary school in Cash Trees. And these parents have been put on notice that uh, effective immediately the school will be uh, implementing suspension. Why? Because uh, grade six students of this particular school located in Cash Trees continue continue to not complete work assignments for home, commonly referred to as homework. So the, the school has a big, big problem. The grade six students are preparing for exams. Um, they're not completing homework. So the school has written to the parents. They've had parent conferences. They have um, continuous warnings. They've also been detentions. Uh, parents have been uh, brought in and spoken to about this problem, but it continues um, to re reoccur. Um, as a result, the school is adopting a zero tolerance for students not completing their homework or home assignments, and they've put parents on notice. Effective immediately, um, the school will be implementing suspension. It's a very um, serious matter. So, parents, you be forewarned. Homework is traditionally, um, and, and in a discussion with, with our news editor last evening, Sherry Ann um, Gillard Williams, just keep it on there for a, mi for, for a minute to me. Um, we concluded that it's a real departure from the norm, <laughs> a school not having to write to parents in this manner, because um, homework was, is traditionally a must do. You went to school, they gave you homework, they gave you assignments that you have to complete at home. You, it's a must do. There's no two ways around it, right, Danny? Right, right, Kay? You, you get homework, you just do your homework, and that's the end of the story. You turn it in um, the following day or when it is due. There was no instance where teachers had to write to your parents to complain about people not doing homework. If, you, homework, if you're cheeky like Dan, I'm sure you'd have some girl in class do your homework for you. But you don't show up to school without homework. So, so it's a very serious matter. Um, the parents in that, uh, of students at that cash free school, you have been forewarned. Suspensions will follow immediately. So please speak with your students and be so guided. I'm sure Sherry Ann, we're going to have a feature on this um, this evening when Daniela Edwin comes in for the first news of the evening uh, news at 6 45 be sure to join us um, for that thanks so much Don time is now eight o'clock in St. Lucia and the rest of the Eastern Caribbean stay with us my next guest already standing by in the Commonwealth of Dominica we'll also hear from uh, that island's Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt who is getting ready to lead his Dominica Labour Party uh, to the polls again on December the 6th two years ahead of the constitutionally due deadline. Stay with us more right after this.